well, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that crap is coming on, and I've got some catching up to do. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another video where I'm going to unbox three packages that have been sitting here because I just didn't feel like doing one and one and one. I wanted to get them all together and do three. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into the crap. So first off is a double order from Nucadia. Now this one pissed me off a little bit, to be honest, because I had originally ordered a let's see they had uh, originally ordered what was supposed to be dr afra number one from the 2020 series but the one in 25 variant and they sent me an email said sorry we put the wrong cover on the on the website so what would you like to do and I told them I don't want the uh, any other one. I only want the one that I ordered. <laughs> so um, for some reason, they still sent me this one, and I have really no interest in it because what I the reason why I bought the other one was, like I said, it was the one in twenty five variant that goes anywhere from between fifty and one hundred dollars depending on you know eBay or your know, cover price, whatever you look at, and my price was. Uh, I don't know, the, the sales price, the original price, listed price was seven seventeen, but I got it on sale and it would have been 44% off. So like, four, it would have cost me like $3. So $3 for a $100 book, that was going to be uh, something that I was either gonna send as an AOK -OK to somebody uh, or do it as a giveaway. Well, unfortunately, that's a piece of shit book. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> uh, speaking of variants, uh, I also got this Jessica Jones blind spot number three. This is the variant with um, Elsa Bloodstone. Another one, depending on you know what you look at on eBay, prices range from twenty five to one hundred dollars, uh, twenty five to forty dollars. Uh, this one in in near mint plus condition, according to them, uh, I paid three eighty nine. Um, again, uh, something that I want to do. I don't like variants very much. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, at some point, I'll do a video explaining how I got back into the comics, why I actually left. And variants and parallels is one of the reasons why I left um, sports cards a long time ago. Because it just got... How do you collect you know, your favorite players if there's so many parallels and variants out there? And then they... you know, It's just it's crazy to me. Um, now, this one... <laughs> surprise, surprise. I don't know what this is here, but that sure as hell is color breaking and it makes it looks like a thumbnail. Well, that makes this not near mint plus, as this one says. Uh, you know, well, we got that. Um, next one is Union Jack number one from the 1998 series. I bought this for no reason other than the fact that it was a first sol you know, solo title series and it literally cost me $1.61. So, you know, I figured why not? It's for, you know, $1.61. <laughs> it's if Union Jack does anything anywhere and this increases in value because it's the first, you know, solo series, solo title series. I have one and I got it at a cheap price. This one actually, this was listed as a near mint minus. Um, this actually is in much better condition than the grade assigned to it. So, you know, 10% of the time this happens with uh, this company. And the final two comics of this order are the same, I think. Yeah, no, no difference. Both new Thunderbolts number six. This is um, one is a very fine plus, one's a near mint minus. So essentially, this they should be the same things. And the reason why I bought that is it's the, you know Monica Rambo becomes Pulsar. Now, if 
you know, anything happens around that character, well, I now have the books where she becomes Pulsar. And another one, why did I buy these in particular? Well, $1.99 and $2.09 is what I paid for these. So, you know, when it comes to specs, especially on some of these moderns or I don't even know when this was, what series this is from the year. Uh, most likely this will be modern because I'm pretty sure even the first one of the Thunderbolts was in the late 90s, 97 or so. So, you know, good to have. And this has one, which one was this? This is the Very Fine Plus. So I have one small spine tick color breaking, two little color breaking ones. So again, not so bad, actually better condition than the description, which is <laughs> hella surprising. Um, and then this is the near mint minus one. I can get this opened. We'll check this one out. And this one, actually, yeah, I have a couple small spine ticks. Yeah, this one, yeah, you could see on this, it's, I don't know if you can see from this angle, but there's a couple spine ticks, nothing too tremendous on there. Um, but yeah, you know, so those two for two dollars roughly each, really not such a bad deal. Now we have another one. This is my Spider Man, my Spider Man order, and actually, the rest of these are predominantly Spider Man related books. Uh, I'm sorry, Batman. That family, yeah, not Spider-Man. Um, so once I get this open, there's one book in here that I'm hoping is not <laughs> terribly mis, uh, misgraded. But okay, so don't have any stickers on the thing. So that means that everything came in as ordered. Nothing was missing. So first we have Batman Battle for the Cowl, number one, number three. Significance, um, number one, no real significance, just that it's the, you know, part of the miniseries. Uh, you know, it's the whole series where after Batman is no longer being portrayed by Bruce Wayne, somebody has to take the, the mantle of the cowl and you have Jason Todd and Dick Grayson fighting for it. And guess what? The Grayson wins. So number one is nothing, but this is number three. This is the uh, first official appearance of Damian Wayne as um, Robin. He's Dick Grayson, Batman's Robin. So first appearance of him in the Robin suit. And it's, you know, Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne at, you know, he just got his own... Um, his own self-titled Robin series, which is, I, I don't know. <laughs> so it, he's very polarizing. A lot of people can't stand him. A lot of people love him. I don't have a, you know, an opinion one way or the other. I mean, you know, the, it was a weird story where, you know, Talia drugged uh, Bruce to conceive him. And then you have the whole situation where, you know, he was, there was many clones of him, and then you have the heretic and all this other stuff. I mean, yeah, he's Rachel Ghoul's grandson, you know, so there's something that could line up with that down the road. Um, but, you know, if, but as far as this goes, hey, first solo, uh, first appearance of Damian Wayne Robin, you know, can't really go wrong with that. And this is the big one for me. This one is what I was hoping, and yeah. <laughs> I, I love when I love when this happens. Uh, where is it? Okay, so let's get this in focus. And this says cover tears, tiny indents. Well, I don't know about you, but this line here and you can see it on the angle that's not a tiny indent that's a that's a big fold in the book 
Um, luckily, the color, the you know, it's not color breaking on the back. There's actually two of them, but other than that, nice bone white pages. Oh, and I don't think I said what it was. This is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number one twenty. This is the first appearance of um, Cassandra Kane as Batgirl, and you know, anything Batman related, you, you know, it's like Spider Man. It, it's gold. All the Bat Family, you know, it's just things that you want to be on the, on the lookout for. And, oh, I also forgot to go over the prices. Batman Battle for the Cowl number one cost $2.10. Uh, Battle for the Cowl number three, which was the first uh, appearance of Damian Wayne as Robin, that was three forty-seven, And Legends of the Dark Knight number 120 was $11.18. So that wraps up the new Cadia orders. Now we go over to uh, my comic shop. And this, again, is very Batman, Bat Family heavy. Just, it, you know, there was no rhyme or reason to it. It's just what I was able to find at good prices. Um, this was part of their books giving sale at um, my comic shop. So what ended up happening was, and the reason why I had to wait to get them all in, because they were so inundated with orders that they couldn't even process everything in time. I mean, even when I placed this order, I had to call into the store because um, my order didn't process. So they had to cancel it and I had to reprocess it. That's, um, you know, and there's an issue on their back end. Plus, you know, it was just so very busy. Um, on that Monday, this was their quote unquote Cyber Monday type deal uh, from noon central on Monday through noon central on Tuesday. So, you know, it just, it took an extra day to process and get out. So, like I said in the beginning, I didn't want to sit there and do like three small videos because that kind of gets annoying after a while. So, first things first, we have US Avengers number one. This I got for free because they, part of their, you know, the promotion was every $10 you spend, you get a free book. So this was on the free book list. This was also a couple weeks ago on their $1 list. They had it marked down from $4 to one. And I already have three copies of this, but I wanted to get another one because this is, and off the top of my head, first appearance of Dr. Tony Ho as Iron Patriot and the first appearance of... Uh, Robert Maverick as the second um, second Red Hulk. So there's a, a little bit of significance there. And to get for free, why not? Um, let's go with the rest of the Bat Family stuff before we move on to the only couple of items that were not uh, Bat Family in the last two orders. We've got two copies of Robin number four from the 1993 series. And yeah, same thing as the um, new Thunderbolts one. These are both direct issues, no new stand or anything like that. And the significance of this is first cover appearance of Spoiler, Stephanie Brown. So, you know, if you're, I'm, I'm not even looking like specking or any of that other stuff. I'm just buying them because, you know, if there does happen to be a Batgirl movie or, you know, even Spoiler gets involved in anything, and she'd been in uh, the Young Justice title, you know, the, uh, the cartoon that was on HBO Max that unfortunately has not been renewed past season four. Um, so she was featured in that. And again, nice white colors for a book from 1993 that is basically 29 years old. Um, so these I bought uh, for $3.32 after shipping and taxes. Um, and, you know, so, and, and Spoiler's an interesting character. I mean, Stephanie Brown's an interesting character, you know, uh, daughter of Clue Master, then she becomes Spoiler, then she becomes Robin, then she becomes Batgirl, then goes back to Spoiler. So she's very heavily involved in the Bat family. Um, you know, she's the only one that's played every sidekick character, you know, um, I mean, granted, there's only really two psychic characters. And then we have 
I have two copies of Secret Origins number f shit number four, and this is from the 2014 series. There's been a bunch of uh, Secret Origins series, but this is it's got a direct relation to the uh, battle Batman battle of for the cowl because this is the official first time. What the hell do they call it? It's, like, it's very complex. Uh, the first chronological appearance of Damian Wayne as Robin. Um, this is between Battle of the Cowl 3 and Robin number 1 from the 2009 series. Now, you know, people are like, oh, semantics, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? As we've seen with the first appearance of Gambit, first cameo of Gambit, you know, they're, you know, what days apart you know essentially like in the you know at the same time but what's what's a cameo what's a first appearance i mean hey uncanny x-men annual 14 is not in one panel he's got a lot of appearances in there and speaking lines technically that's a full appearance but that's there's something different uh so yeah i got two of these and that cost two dollars 84 cents each so again if we get a damian wayne and robin plus again like, I, you know, don't want to be a dead horse, but Damian Wayne, Robin, you know, solo series coming, you know, I don't, I don't know, 2000, the end of this year, 2023, something like that. And then we have final books that I've bought for this is something from my last video. Um, two more copies of Captain America number seven from the 2018 series. This is the first uh, appearance of the Daughters of Liberty. I've been looking for the B copy. I think it's the B copy. Um, it's the first cover edition, the first cover appearance of the Doors of Liberty. Um, it's just just a, such a much better cover with all all of them sitting around in an arc. Um, but you know, something like this, if you get it for, I paid three eighty shipping, tax all in everything like that. It's not too bad, and I'm just thinking to myself yeah i mean you know even if it's a ten dollar book to get for 380 you're literally more than doubling your money if you can sell it for that so three orders all between you know around the thanksgiving holidays time i was just too lazy to do individual ones you see what i bought you see you, you've heard my reasoning my rationale for all that stuff let me know what you think. What are your thoughts, especially on this whole thing with, you know, the first appearances and, you know, everybody's got, you know, quote unquote keys. You know, I've got issues. I, I put this on my Instagram. Uh, by the time you see this, it'll probably be like two weeks ago where, you know, Key Collector has categories for shark covers, Arnold Schwarzenegger covers. I'm like... These are not really keys. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger on a cover of a book isn't a key. They've got uh, comic book props as a category. That's not a key. Just because somebody read a comic book in a, you know, in a movie or in a music video or whatever, that doesn't make it a key book. You know, first cover, first appearance, first cameo, first team up, first you know battle. If you're talking about something like Spider Man and uh, you know Electro, you know, like big time enemies, not just random you know, connections and stuff like that. But again, let me know what you think. How do you, you know, how do you feel about those types of um, issues when it comes to collecting, you know, valuing stuff like that. And thank you for watching. And again, I will see you next time.